G'day punters, happy Saturday. Welcome to the MacBet Early Move. Joining me is pro punter John McLeod. Johnny, uh, how are you going? Happy Saturday. Good mate. Yeah, Saturday mornings. We're, um, we've got the sheets out final. We were a bit late this morning. We had a few little hiccups, but uh, they're out there and, and uh, everyone can get them or download them, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we're just doing a little later early move this week. Had a few things uh, going on during the week just had to fall into place. So I'm um, good that I'm able to catch up with you and take an early look at um, at Doombin. Yeah, I've seen you arm in arm with uh, Elfie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the uh, the Broncos dinner on Thursday night. And uh, yeah, we had Alfie, Alfie there on the Ladbrokes table. I think he's our ambassador or something like that. So um, yeah, he likes, he likes wine. He likes wine a lot. <laughs> <laughs> very, very loose. And um, <laughs> yeah, and the, when they announced the, the Clubman of the Year award, they had like two like, dual people won it. And um, as they were announcing the second person, it, when, it, when it wasn't him, he stood up and stormed out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> and a full, yeah, I, think, um, I think he's good for the club, he's, he, especially at a time like this when the clubs are, you know, on the bottom and sort of a bit negative. He'd probably build them up, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, there's plenty of boys getting around him and sort of rubbing him on the head and whatnot. So that was all pretty <laughs> funny. Um, yeah. Now, before we get into... Um, today's Doombin meeting we might just look over the top three improvers from last week um, that we had tweeted out on Monday so your third best improver um, out of the Eagle Farm meeting last weekend was the QS that ran fifth that was actually Turbo's lay uh, best lay of the day which yeah, didn't win which was great yep yeah well that one was uh, that was mainly because of um, the type of horse that we look for at Eagle Farm um, so you know we 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 nailed that one sort of thing. Um, it was one of those horses that we just don't want to get no near in Eagle Farm, but he still went all right. Yeah. So if he goes away from there, um, it, it's a, it's um, you know, it'll be hard to beat it again, especially if he can find on pace somewhere. Just got to draw a bit better gate than what he did the other day. So he's definitely an improver that's going to, um, you know, probably go back to his previous win. I'd say. Okay. And your second biggest improver out of last weekend actually won the second event there at Eagle Farm. It's um, it is Sergeant Silver. I think that one's with Heathcote. Yes. Really interesting horse, this one. Um, really, you know, I uh, was a little bit suspect about him the other day just because of he's, he's sort of like a really staying type, you know, and I just don't, I just thought he may have needed 2000, um, you know, at this stage, but he got the job done. He shows a, a good turn of foot, and uh, which is surprising. And um, I think if he gets a stronger rider on it, um, if they give him a whack behind the, on the rear, this horse will ping. You know, I'm sort of waiting for a really strong rider and I think um, this horse will find another or further two lengths. So it's going to be interesting. It's not to say, uh, I think Lee Kilman rode it the other day. Yeah. Or Leah. Um, you know, she's riding fantastic. But this horse, uh, I, I really think um, a strong rider will really give this a boost a little bit more experience might uh, might add a length or two be great mm. Mm. and yeah number one improver uh out of the weekend ran fifth in race six that is tokariki lad uh, from the golden yard what'd you like there this is a yeah this was a tricky one really because he this horse does a lot of things wrong in the yard you know plays up and doesn't really want to you know be there really and so off the yard you can never really you know, come come into it um, because he, as I said, he plays up and he does a lot of things wrong. But the day that he settles and walks around, you know, comfortably, yep. uh, I think he'll be hard to beat. And he did a good job the other day against the sectionals and everything. And I think he's come back all right. So uh, he's a, he's a nice improver that one. Definitely one to follow there. So that's Toka Ricky Lad, the uh, Golan runner. Let's dive into uh, Doombin today. It's good speaking to you on a Saturday morning. We can sort of get a uh, a closer look at the track. What do you think it's going to do today? Well, until they said this morning that the track was closer, it was more a, you know, on the worst side of a of a good four, um, mm -hmm. I was sort of thinking this, this place is going to be really hard and it's going to be really hard for them to make up a lot of ground. I still yep. think that'll be the case. You know, we've had a little bit of wind, you know, there's a little bit of wind around and just fine weather and it's hot. So I think this track's going to dry out. And as... The, you know, as the day goes on, I think it'll become more and more leaderish. 
So um, that's what we're going to be looking for on pace horses, especially late in the day. Okay, fantastic. And we'll um, we'll do something a little bit different today. We'll take Turbo's Thunder and we'll actually, uh, we'll be laying one here at Doombin. Um, so <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, race seven here. You're against Big Bad Bruce. No, Rebel Salute. against Rebel Salute, Salute. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so with, it's the one that um, I, I think he's a, a really nice wet tracker and he peaked the other day. He went to a new peak rating and the, and the track played off fence that day. Everything fell into, his, into its hands, whereas today he's got a tricky gait. Um, I think Gorman's going to need a good ride and uh, he's going to possibly be back in the last four or five. And if the track's playing like I think it will, I, I think he could be in a bit of trouble, especially at the price they've got it done this morning. So we're going to be playing in this race. I think um, we haven't uh, haven't put any units on this race so far. Okay. It'll really all depend on the market, um, but I'm looking to play. I, I you know, by this stage, um, that's why the audio is going to be really important for this race because I, I, I want the track to be playing a certain way for us to tumble into a few years. All right. Yeah, fantastic. And guys, you know where to get the information today. It's uh, macbet.com.au. We've got Doom and... And uh, Gold Coast as well, the team betting at both tracks. Brody will be in the yard down at the Goldie. Will Brad be joining him? Yeah, uh, Brad and Brody are down there. So they'll Fantastic. be, they'll be uh, sharing the meet. And um, Tom and I have done uh, done uh, the Metro meet up here. So we've got a meet, no, we've got a meeting next uh, on Sunday. And then we've got a big week, I think, next week. I think uh, we're back on board with a lot of meetings this week. We've had a pretty easy time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, the spring carnival's uh, heating up down south and there's more and more eyes than ever on the racing. Um, as far as results go, tough tough little week as well. We're sort of, we're just bouncing up and down. We're not, I don't think we're having a, a complete strip out, but we're just sort of going up and down um, in the same sort of spot. Uh, we've lost, what, 11 units in the last week, 42%. Still winning at 13.1% for the year, but yeah, just, just in and out. I think it's I think it's mainly because of the metros. We've been having a, you know, a bad time at the metros, and then all of a sudden on the provincial meetings, we've been chipping back and winning something. So yep. I've just got to uh, kick into gear <laughs> on the uh, the metros here. It's um it's been been a little you know tough times. I think it's been uh, I, you know I went back and had a bit of a review over the last few weeks and seeing yep. what we're doing wrong and. It's amazing. It's it's very simple after the uh, the event to go back and see what you've done wrong, and it's uh, you just shake your head sometimes what you did. So hopefully um, we pull the right rein this time and uh, we back a few winners. There's not a lot here to um, we haven't put a lot of units out on on Dooman today. We put a few out on uh, at the Gold Coast. Yeah, but as I said, um, Dooman's going to be more the audio in play type of thing. You know, we're going to be maybe um, back in a few more. Well, when we see how the track's playing and and because uh, I really want this to be a leaderish to, to punch in. Okay, fantastic. And yeah, guys, uh, any weekly and monthly subscribers get access to that uh, yard mail. It's invaluable and um, yeah, really good option there on the website. But uh, that's about all from us today, guys. Good luck if you're playing. Um, good luck, John. Beauty. Thanks, Cheers. John. Thanks. Thanks.